and you'll find that late nests that are incubating and getting close to hatching in uh, October, they hatch at all kinds of times because and found a crawl that we weren't sure was a crawl. We called Penny and she came out, found the nest, and and now we're here for the inventory and we found one live one, which we have video to watch him go into the water. So that's nature's way of protecting us. Well, it's a natural nest. Gun net. <laughs> it's filled by the sea, and what we're looking at is a nest inventory, this being nest number two, and it's filled by the sea near the beach house. Uh, we are volunteers with SCOOT, which stands for South Carolina United Turtle Enthusiasts. And if you look at the shirt of that one of the volunteers that's digging, she's the beach coordinator, you see it says loggerhead at the bottom, and mostly these are loggerhead turtles. The eggs, and some maybe that have not hatched, but the, the eggshells from the 50 that left, plus the egg shells of those that maybe have not hatched yet. Uh, anyway, there's a lot in that nest and you're digging down about 18 inches. Therefore, uh, from a crowd standpoint, we'd love to see a straggler or two. In other words, a little baby turtle on the bottom. Maybe they'll come up with one and we'll escort that little baby to the sea. Scoot was formed by this man, Jeff McClary, and another enthusiast about 28 years ago now. And if you're interested in looking at this further online or a Facebook, just type in Scoot, S-C-U-T-E. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. First taste of salt water. Come on. That's it. Lucky's happy now. I think Lucky's happy now. Oh, yeah. The water? Yeah. Come on, buddy. He doesn't want to leave everybody. He likes the show. Yeah, he does. He's got like 300 people out here watching. Oh, yeah. 